Hello everybody, welcome to the second round match. A French off we've got between Le Marseille and Choublon. And with me in the booth is two massive Arsenal fans. Up the arse, Dimmy G and Purple Chest. Hello. Bonjour mes amis. Bonjour. Bonjour. <laughs> Bonjour le bibliothèque. <laughs> L'église est dans le droit. Church is always on the right in my book. Um, <laughs> at least it was when I was learning French. And Dimi, of course, has lived in France, so we're bringing a, a, a wealth of experience to this. Two weeks in Normandy. <laughs> I have. <laughs> <laughs> I have. <laughs> I bought. I bought my first pack of cigarettes in uh, in uh, France when I was fourteen. Wow. True story. I did what a lot of children did on the French trip and bought a flake knife. Yeah. Uh, then came home to England and had it instantly confiscated. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh. I uh, I can't remember what I did when I was in France, but I did go on a school trip there, and we saw a really big, a really really big crater. Like it was really big. It was, seemed unrealistically big. How big the crater was. A crater. Yeah, a crater from like you know we went to like you know the fucking front lines or whatever. Or some, yeah, yeah, yeah. Something. Oh. It was this crater. It was like the biggest crater that was made by uh, in the second world. Upon. And it was wow. it was fucking big. It was like impossibly big. It was huge. Um, yeah. I <laughs> but there you go. Anyway, you, you think the Second World War didn't happen, Jimmy? Is it all a bit of a hoax? <laughs> no, it was just it was just it just seemed crazy how big it was. That's all. Was you a bit... World War Two denier? Maybe it's because uh, I was small. I don't, I don't know. But it, <laughs> looking back, I yeah. think, well, how was it that big? But anyway, <laughs> looking at you go back now, probably turn out you could step over it. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, look, looking at the teams, uh, <laughs> Le Marcelier's got a uh, high elves. He's got nine blodgers, which is all right, isn't it? Um, but he hasn't got a lot on top of that. He's got an edge up with leap wrestle strip. He's got a mighty blow tackler. Um, he's got a rackler. So like, you know, he's got enough, hasn't he? It's, it's not super exciting, you know. It's not like uh, Elliot's team or anything. But th there's there's a bit there. And but then Elliot's team's gone. Um, yes. it, spoilers. Uh, sorry, sorry. It's all right. <laughs> it's uh, I mean, it's fairly standard for high elves. They, it, it's not that exciting, but it's actually got more tools than some high elf teams have. Uh, like you said, there is the leap piece, and uh, and high elves don't Ça often come with leap pieces. Yeah. Um, and often they just rely on a you know a lot of bludge, av eight to survive, <laughs> and then the fact that they're elves, uh, and obviously the very very fast catchers. Yeah. And as you can see, he took leap before the edge up, which is a stroke of luck, isn't it? Unbelievable. Um, the Skaven team is very bare bones. He has not a natural one turner, but uh, you know a move up gutter is is almost you know only needs one one push. There's only one yep. side step, so it's uh, it's it's going to be pretty easy to get in the push that he needs. Um, inducements wise, he has a babe and a wizard and skitter stamp stamp, who in my opinion is absolutely terrible. <laughs> It just it doesn't seem to be adding much to this team, Jimmy, does it? I mean, he's already got four gutters. They're sort of okay, and Skitter's sort of okay. So he's just got a bit more meh. Yeah, yeah, I don't like it. Uh, I mean, would you I, take I, a bribe? Yeah, uh, I don't know how much Skitter is, to be honest. That's how much I don't like him. But... I don't think he's that much. I think he's like around 190 or something like that, isn't he? He's definitely one of the more affordables. Yeah. I'm just looking it up for us all. Because I don't like to guesstimate, but I'm fairly certain he's. Uh... I wonder if you could like scum something better, you know, like with near to get Hackflem. Yeah, exactly. Hackflem seems a lot better. Yeah, Hackflem is much, much better. Um, Skitter comes in at 160. Um, oh, wow, okay. Hackflem, of course, is 200, so it's a 40k difference. So, yeah, he could have just not had the babe and had Hackflem. And uh, and Fat Glart, uh, of course, is not available. But uh, Thin Glart's only one ninety, isn't he? No, I think he's like two ten or two hundred, something like that. Oh yeah, you know he's two ten. Yeah, so again, it's another little step up, isn't it? Yeah, but I think he probably should have done. Also, well, I mean, Blank had like full full <laughs> tube Blank <laughs> had like <Sure>. full <laughs> he had like full uh, full bank, so you know he could have he could have scummed more than what he had. Well, no, he probably hasn't. I don't know if he's scummed forty. I feel like he hasn't scummed much. 
Well, I mean, if you take the babe off and add that on to Skitter, then, you know, some of the, we think, better stars would have been available. Yeah. Um, so, obviously, having said that, the babe will now be key to everything the rats do. <laughs> yes, probably, yeah. But, I mean, it does give him the bench, so I, I don't mind adding a star. I just think, yeah, perhaps a slightly better one. Yeah. Hello, fucks it. <laughs> what a name. <laughs> 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 Here comes the tackle blitz. This is huge blitz. Yeah. Ah. No soft targets, is there, on this elf team? He's pretty much nah. always going to be blitzing a, bl blitzing a blodger. No, and, uh, and lacking claw, of course. The um, I, I would have been trying to work a hit on one of the catchers, but it's not easy to do. Mm. No. Oh, well, there is that wrestle tackle catcher right there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but Just then it, <laughs> it's hitting and protect. He was over this side, which already yeah. probably shouldn't have been right. He should have probably kept the tackle as central so, so he can go either side. Well, he centralised him now. Yeah. Um. That's the thing about having a dirt, like a, a bribe, though, as well. It just makes the fouling more reliable, and then you don't have to blitz with tackle necessarily. You can blitz with wrestle. Yeah. Well. Although it's not stopping him putting that, uh, that sort it's, of little foul. He's gone, he's gone, he's sent off. That's yeah. it. Bang. So that's like huge. <laughs> it's huge. That is big. He could have had two bribes instead of Skidder. I really, I proper hate Skidder. I guess Skidder gives him an extra player though, right? It gives him 13 players. Yeah. yeah. So it's not yeah. terrible. It's not terrible. And it does give you a fifth gutter, I guess. I think I think my mate Fatten would have gone to bribes in this one, for sure. <laughs> well, you sent him packing though. <laughs> no, he was, he, was, he, he ran Skaven in the cup a little while back. He, I think he lost to Dio in the end, which was, funnily enough, it was Skaven against Hiles. And uh, um, he did actually take <laughs> a ton of bribes in that match, <laughs> which pretty much failed, and he got sent off at every turn. And then Dio was fouling back without a bribe and just casting everything. It was hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> it was hilarious. Blood Bowl rarely fair. Yeah, it was it was good to see the two of them play the matchup. Uh, so I mean, if today goes anything like that match up, match up did, then uh, it, it, it looks good for Le Mans today. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this this team just seems crap. I mean, I've said it before, but <laughs> it look crap, don't they? they look scary, yeah. there's nothing to them. I think the problem with Skaven is the records are like genuinely one of the most hotly contested. So when you get in position to qualify, you don't really have a much leeway to improve your team and stuff. Like yeah, that's fair. some of the other races, like you can have a cushion when you've qualified to like build up your team and stuff. Where I think Chaw, Skaven, and Chaos are probably the three that are most contested for like though. Yeah, you might be right, Dim. Great analysis from Dimmy G. Though. Yeah, lovely. Yeah, I'm sober, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> well, sadly for you, but wonderful for the rest of us. Yeah, boom, no boom, doubt, boom, no boom. Doubt. This won't fail. I am on the road. Boom, boom, boom. No, I mean, I, I take your point, Jim. I'm trying to find another way of describing this this um, Skaven team that is a little kinder than crap. Mm. And I'm coming up empty. <laughs> Mediocre. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it just looks like another five or six games could have got it something. It just lacks sort of everything, doesn't it? There's no one thing. Yeah. You think, oh, that's lovely. The gutters are okay. And at least there's four of them and they're healthy. I suppose there's that. Yeah. I mean, barely. This one's a rookie. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm. Fat Glart is, yeah, 195. That's well done, coffee. Hello, Marcel. Unbelievable. Uh, he is now that they've gone to fives in the uh, in Blood Bowl 2020 and will be in Blood Bowl three. Yeah, it's weird, isn't it? Having fives. Oh, I tell you. but then we could talk about why there's so many zeros. You know. Yeah, but the why fives are really now TP, not not ten or a hundred. Yeah, but... just throwing a zero in to make it seem nice and big. Well, yeah, I mean, that's okay, right? It's fluffy, right? You know, there's there's gold coins of how much they cost to hire and stuff. So that's okay, there's fluffiness. You know, you don't just have to have points, do you? You can have that. But but this introduction of, like, half points, it, like, implies there's some kind of balance there that a half point is in any way, shape, or form necessary. <laughs> like, it's crazy, oh. isn't it? 
I'm going to come in with a big word. I think it's giving them the granularity to introduce a variety of priced inducements. There we are. It's not required, though, is it? Oh, no. does anything. It's completely no. pointless. Uh, I feel like a lot of a lot of it has just overcomplicated things that were, uh, like pretty fine. Yeah. In the first place, I think I feel like yeah. a lot of the rules are there for the sake of changing rules rather than them actually making sense. I agree. I'd, I'd struggle to disagree, Dimmy. Um, and I, I fear, if anything, we've got less new player friendly. Yeah, yeah. it's going to be awful, isn't it? Can you imagine? Like. I see. I mean, the, the one big sop there is uh, that moving all of the stats so that now it's always what what role you have to beat. Yeah, uh, that is apparently in accordance with most other games, and so that should help transition us over from other games. Yeah, I quite like that. Yeah, I do like. Uh, so that. I don't I don't mind that, although it's going to take some getting used to. Yeah. Um, and you know, the fact that on almost every agility role you had an automatic plus one was a bit ridiculous. Yeah. Much was. simpler, just to you know make that the role and then on the other ones have a minus one yeah, yeah um, so there is some simplification in there but there's a lot that just seems more complicated and harder to get your head around than it used to be but that might just be me being you know so used to how it was uh, and also of course old no it's not that at all but that was a great power wasn't it lovely power yeah, that was that yep. was amazing made it a lot easier for him but um no i mean it is it is just obviously more complicated to have a passing stat and an agility stat that's just obviously more complicated for no gain whatsoever. <laughs> it's just pointless. Now this is a it's a nice little break up the side here, but it's it's not safe yet. There's more work to be done here. Yep, just two. It's only a couple of two pluses, but and one of them's off tackle, but uh, yeah, it should be alright, shouldn't it? Yeah, I might have tried the other one first, but. It is two for the other one, isn't it? So you, you know you, you end up yeah. in the same position after yeah. you make the first one if you pop dodge. So and, and perhaps slightly reinforced by the fact that he won another kickoff, uh, yeah. one uh, another re-roll on the kickoff, meaning he's got three. So you know if he has to put one into a into a failed dodge off tackle, he probably wouldn't be afraid to. I mean that's that's definitely one thing that might uh, lead towards uh, a mass tilt from Le Marcelet's uh, re-rolls on kickoff. <laughs> Rerolls this kind of, I mean, not unnecessary, but uh, you know, not uh, it's not gone essential, again. was it? It wasn't essential. That, that I mean, it wasn't good. essential, Jim. But the shape he had before it, it was sort of easy to cancel the assists around the ball carrier, and he could have leaped in. He could have done. The problem with that is there's, there was no real recovery option afterwards. Yeah. Um, I'd kind of say, okay, you know, you want to go for that two plus one die, then uh, well, actually, you could have got two plus two die. Mm. No, two plus one die because it's uh, it's on strength three, of course. So yeah, it could have been a nice one die there, but it is a blodge piece he'd be hitting. Um, blodge sure hands as well. There blodge is sure hands, yeah. and there's no tackle on the leaper, is there? It's mm. a it's a wrestle piece, but not a not a tackle, not a rackle. Yeah, so the, the thrower is a pretty good counter to that. And five yeah. leaping. Basket. Yeah, so it would have been a two plus five plus to knock the ball out. And even then, very few recovery options. Because that's the plus agility Elf used. Oh, well, Skit has done the best thing he could possibly have done. <laughs> Taken a hit, died. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, right. That's 160k well spent. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> augmented beard. That's the, there was a big equity shift there towards Tube Blank. <laughs> <laughs> His worst player uh, being cast. Woo. And of course, Skitter has, you know, provided value by doing so many things that just a line rat couldn't have done. <laughs> Get like off my fucking bitch, there. prick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. But perhaps if he'd been on defence uh, and Skitter had, you know, got in and stabbed a uh, high elf catcher with the ball, you know, that could have provided some value, but that didn't happen. Yeah. I might even have been tempted to bench him for exactly that in the second half, if that's why I'd hired him. But instead yeah. of using him as a very expensive meat shield, which is seemingly what happened. Yeah, it's weird, isn't it? When you've already got four gutters, I don't really think you need a fifth, you know? Like, just, just have him as a reserve gutter seems good. Because obviously gutters are great when there's four of them, but when you remove a couple of down with two gutters, they've got problems, haven't they? So, But you don't need, yeah. all, you didn't, you don't need all five on the pitch. You no, certainly not on your drive, oh, yeah. when you should be, you know, controlling the pace and the flow and where the ball's going. 
I just don't know, know that you need that level of responsiveness that five gutters gives you. Yeah. <laughs> and if you wanted one as a meat shield, then the rookie gutter leaps out in that role. Yeah. Um, so I might genuinely have considered benching Skitter for the first half if I bought him to stab a, yeah. you know, a catcher with the ball. Or, 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 the, or um, the move four, or the move ten gutter, you know, so you've yeah. got the one turn. Yeah, because it's not like he's using him as a ball carrier. He seems to be using him as a... You know, as a secondary option, if the ball goes down, he's there to pick it up and you know, disappear with it. But... Yeah. Hancock with a hot take, calling Le Marcellier a whiny fuckstain. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I, I don't know that Le Marcellier has any, done anything to me to piss me off to that extent, but. Uh... I, yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> I, I've spun into him. I may have done, um, but I tend to forget people if they say things like that I mean. <laughs> but obviously Hancock entitled to his experiences and his feelings and his racism <laughs> well he is a scouser yeah <laughs> and of course blessed with the legendary good humour and bonhomie of the people of Liverpool yes tackle this rackle uh, catcher putting tackle on two goals is quite nice isn't it yeah it's just herp derping, isn't it? It's just get blodge on everyone and herp derp. <laughs> yeah. I <laughs> herp derping's really good against Gavin. Especially yeah. if you can herp derp the shitters, you know, like he's he's not re like he's he's put tackle on these two, he's got two on him, which is alright, and he's got a, a tackle on him. So like, you know, he's got strength up and tackle on people. This guy's a bit pointless, but he's protecting the re the rackle. Uh, catcher a bit, so yeah, I think just kind of mindlessly basing Skaven's usually pretty good. Unthinkable way to defend that angle. Um, <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, as I said at the start, I mean, I, I coach a lot of high elves. Um, I got about 350 games played in a league that I play them in, uh, a perpetual league, the White Owl League on Fumble, and I've also coached them quite a lot, just in uh, you know, in standard games too. Um, it is one of the things you really can do with them is is play them quite aggressively up in your face. If you get a lot of blodge on them, the AV8, it doesn't always hold, but it holds pretty well. Yeah. Um, and they don't have some of the tools that Dark Elves have. So, you know, creating that risk for the rats. I mean, obviously the gutters can still go where they want, but the line rats, it's a it's a three plus to dodge off. And very few of them come with, you know, dodge. You can create those fails. You can get on top of teams. So I don't hate it, Dimmy, but yeah, I, I take your point. He's got very up in his face, but I, I think that's probably the right way for the High Elves to be playing right now. They are the, they're the beefy ones in this matchup. I mean, yes. <clears throat> what would your strategy be with Skaven? Like, because the wizard's normally used in like one or two ways, and you can normally bang it in early. You use the wizard to like turn it over and then go for the two nil half time and try and sort of kill the game that way. Yes, or I'd try and that. Right, He's rather than fast. taking the wizard all the way through to a potential yeah. overtime. I guess you don't want to go to overtime as either of these teams anyway. Do you? Yeah, as, as AV7, I'm always trying to avoid overtime. Okay. Um, you know, even if you win in overtime, the odds are there's, there's, you know, you're going to take substantial damage in 24 turns. Um, and if I can get a 2-0, you know, then all I've got to do is delay the, the score in the second half. And if, you know, if we're four turns in at 2-1 and I've got the ball, I think the game's won. And would you say Skaven kind of fall into the same category as Kislev and Vampires, where they're better on defense, maybe, or not so much? No, not as much as those two. Yeah, not as much as those two. Uh, if I wanted to add a third to those, I might add Chaos Dwarves. Yeah. Uh, who are very, very good on defense, too. Kemri. But... <laughs> Yeah, but yeah. not not I, in this in lizards even. But that that's more teams that are better on defense. Whereas control, yeah. whereas Kislev and and uh, I mean Kislev are actually good at scoring touchdowns, right? But they're just not. They don't really like the protracted drives. Whereas vampires absolutely despise protracted drives and like defense as well. So like it, it's it, vampires are pretty much alone in the way vampires are. I think. Kislev, Kislev are somewhat like vampires, but it's still vampires, with Kislev being a little bit like them. <laughs> I mean, with rats, you can pretty much build them to do anything you want. You can go very, very aggressive with, uh, you know, with the two um, storm vermin. If you if you build them into, you know, claw monsters, you can really hurt teams. Uh, you can also add the rat ogre on top if you. I mean, I wouldn't start with him, but if I get two blitzers in an aggressive place, I might think a rat ogre could help them out too. 
Or you can go, you know, it's perhaps more the, the core style, the K-Fold style. Uh, play like water, just concentrate on, um, you know, on mobility and on the gutter runners and on you know, right. controlling the space and moving things around. I don't want to interrupt you here, PC, because you're lovely. But you could, you could hit the ball here, look. Check yep. this out. Edge 5 can leap into this square here. Fill in this square, then he can chain this guy off. And then that chains him out, and then he can run in and uh, and hit the ball. You could literally hit the ball on like a uh, on a two D with Rackle. Yep. Potentially. Yeah, because it leaves the AG five in as the assist, doesn't it? If you get a pound. I mean, you can always with an AG five leaper, you can always hit the ball. It's a question of can you get two die. Yeah. Uh, and what I like about this is that there is some better recovery options. Uh, there are some scatter squares where you might be able to you know even get it with an elf, let alone get some elves around that. Um, I like that plan. Yeah, I quite like that. He's not going for it, but that's okay. He gets to smash this guy. <laughs> smash him with a push, yeah. <laughs> smash him to pieces. I've done this many a time to play. But <laughs> 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 he was terrified then. <laughs> the classic Jim Power, yeah. Me. Hello. <laughs> Interchangeability and versatility help. You get um, obviously strength for blitzes from every piece. Uh, you don't have the rotters to worry about. You don't have that, you know, notable weak link that the Nurgles do. Um, and obviously the warriors, you know, look a lot like um, the Chaos Warriors. Look a lot like Nurgle warriors, but but really aren't. They're they're very no. and can be used in very different roles as well. Yeah. You can hand off to them reliably. Yeah. Yes, the AG3 MA5 is tight. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're basically like good humans, aren't they? That's the thing. Like, they, they, it's like it's a bit like orcs and humans, right? Um, like if orcs were armoured. <laughs> <laughs> basically, like they've just got that extra movement and agility, and it's it's lovely, isn't it? There's no real cost to them apart from well, they lose the region and they lose foul appearance, but both of those things are marginal at best a lot of the time. And disturbing presence. That's really marginal. Yeah, it's really annoying when you forget it though. I mean, yes. there's, there's so many games where it, it doesn't do anything, and then the next game suddenly five hits in a row just don't happen. It's yeah. <laughs> yeah, foul appearance is a motherfucker. Well, can be a motherfucker. Yeah. But it's very, very you know, prone to variance, isn't it? That's, yeah. I think, the point. Uh, yeah, no. As, as, as Elp says, reckless of random. Just one's free if you've got Twitch Prime and the other one isn't. <laughs> yep. That's pretty much the only difference. Oh, well, between a Prime income... sub and a normal sub? Yeah. In terms of their income to the streamer, there's about 3p in it, isn't there? I thought, I thought you actually yeah. get a percentage of what they spend on Amazon. No. Like no. a really... No? No. Okay. You, you do if you've got, like, you know, links and stuff, then you, you, get, a tiny, uh, you right. get a tiny little... If they click a link on your Twitch to go somewhere and buy something, then yeah. you get a recommendation something, I think. Yeah. Um, but the same, you can do that to Steam as well. There's all sorts of little things you can link that they can go and spend money. Yeah. No, like, it's something like a tier one sub, you get $2.50. And a prime sub, you get two dollars fifty-three. It's like it's something like that. It's very, very marginal difference. Give me. Sex bots That's a good idea. Don't know what's go. That's a good idea. <laughs> he looks pretty screwed here, doesn't he? I'm he just does, thinking. Yeah. You just dodge out, hand off to the gutter, and score, right? Or... Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it, with gutters, you're never that screwed. Yeah. Well, he's not on a gutter, is he? I know he's got he's, two heads. He's got a free no, player yeah. here. He's got a free player here, so he can go back 2D this guy and then do dodge out the back and hand off. And score. Uh, Might, okay. as well. Might as well. Because this is looking pretty ropey, isn't it? This he's is looking horrible. Instead. It is. He's just going to 1D um, instead. Yeah, why not? Um, I mean, plus this is not a... Uh, it's what, maybe one turn early, I, as rats really rather go in on six. But going in on five, leaving the high elves four, that's that's enough for me to turn them over and it puts a little bit of time pressure on them. Yeah. 
I mean, he, he could he could well stall. I guess, as well. it's, it's just that they're all judging it from tackle, aren't they? That's the problem. And there is the tackle. Yeah. This is another reason to score, really, isn't it? Another motivation yeah, to score. Yeah. Now I don't think you can stall it. There's there's just too many ways it goes. Oh, he's trying. <laughs> he's, he's, trying. Like he's, he's built his screen. Yeah, the problem is, of course, if you go for the handoff and fail it, then you're just fucked, aren't you? So I well, hence he didn't do the handoff. He's, he's sure kept he it on him. Right. And Go instead built yourself. a screen, which is it's nicely done, so that's fine. It mm. should probably hold up. Um, <laughs> very tempting to go with the leaper here, though, but it's uh, it's a distance that... The recovery, again, is not ideal, is it? You can hit it slightly around the corner onto the edge. Yeah. Um, but it's, you know, you're not getting a lot of dice there. He could one day here, couldn't he, to uh, get free up that gutter, or he could just dodge the gutter anyway. Three two is not bad, is it? Yeah. Just gets a power though, smooth power, easy. Doesn't yeah, why fall. do things hard? If you can roll sixes, then do, just don't do harder stuff. Just do that. Yeah. <laughs> and then runs out. And now this looks like a very nice stall. But he All just that. gets this knockdown before he runs out of time. <laughs> oh, <laughs> All that bloaty blodge on the master lays team. <laughs> yeah. It's uh, completely wasted on the 1D powers. <laughs> it is, isn't it? Yeah. I would love some gym merch. It's something that I've thought of a million times and something I've never done. Like, like lots of things, really. <laughs> yeah, but what, what would you have? Like t-shirts and mugs? Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much it, isn't it? That's what people... Hoodies. Mouse mat. Mouse mat. A mouse mat's still a thing? Do they exist? Yeah, I've got one. Yeah, I've got... But it comes with a mouse, because the mouse is really expensive. Mm. It's got lights and buttons on the side and everything. <laughs> yeah. I've, I've, I've put off my tech updating, because my techiest friends tell me I really, really shouldn't right now, because the prices are just absurd. Um, but yeah, I want recommendations for, for nice kit as I do plan to update everything. I'm going to open a part of my Discord for people to recommend stuff like you're going to have a look at and put a shopping list together. Well, that would be hilarious. I can recommend a few things that you look at, PC. Right. Well, please do. <laughs> Bit of pegging. Yeah. <laughs> it's not, not, I mean, I, I'm talking about mouses, mice, uh, you know, cases, and graphics cards, and all of that other stuff. Yeah. The, magic, the magic goblin that sits in there and makes it all work. <laughs> Mouse mask that you put your keyboard over, that's a good idea for you, mate. Yeah, that is a yeah good there idea. is. There's a really long, I have seen that. It's a really long one, isn't it? And the idea is you have your keyboard on it and your mouse. Um, I have idea. seen that. That does look nice. Um, I might do that. I mean, you could use the towel, couldn't you? No. Well. Are you using an optical mouse? I mean, it's or a, a roller. Yeah, mouse? no, I use optical. And is yours wired to the computer, or is it? It a is. Flat? It is. Yeah. Uh, I would never. I would never buy a wireless mouse. I never so would. I've got one. It seems all right to me. Is it? I know it's not the pro gamer thing to do, is it? Well, it's just it keeps running out of batteries. There is that. Yes. I did have one before that had a, a little pad. You put it on at night, and it recharged overnight. That was nice. I forget why that one died. <laughs> Indestru yeah, we could have a Jimmy Fantastic indestructible mouse. That'd be pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine how more frustrating that would be, though. Like <laughs> you're t you're tilted enough to like smash your mouse, this and then fucking it just mouse just won't fucking die, and then it won't break. Like it, <laughs> it, will, it will just send you into like an uncontrollable rage. <laughs> Oh, Jim, a man of your notoriety, I'm sure you could have sold the broken mouse. I'm sure someone would have treasured that. <laughs> Genuine broken mouse. <laughs> As broken on stream by the one and only Jimmy Fantastic. <laughs> that clip with a, with 50 views. <laughs> well, the world famous 50 view clip. I think half of those are me. <laughs> I'm not young, Jim. It takes me a while to get off. <laughs> um, he can stall this. He's he's got four players to stall it, hasn't he? 
I think, I think yes, but the, the, the tighter the stall square, the more that agility leaper becomes a problem, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Um, but I... I don't think he can stall rather comfortably. Ball carrier could put, uh, then one in nine. If I was looking at a stall, I might well push over to the other side of the field through this catcher, because I like hitting catchers. Yeah, I don't like this. Um, I think you must be scoring. What? Yeah, yeah. Because that would be a blitz off, if yeah. not. Yeah. Gets yeah, his chip, just... though. He does, yeah. That's a Rodge piece gone. Apple comes in and works. Ooh. It's a little feisty. There's there's better pieces, and he. You know, he's still got a bench of, uh, of two, so do we really need to save that play? Mm, especially as you kind of knew he was going to score as well, right? So. Yeah. I mean, I know there's a high elf already injured and another one KO'd, so this means at least he's definitely at 11. Mm. But with the KO back, it means he's still got a bench, but now no app off, and some of his better pieces more at risk. I, I didn't love it. Mm. Of course, it is, you know, well, it was a badly hurt, wasn't it? Yeah, it was a badly hurt. Yeah, so it is guaranteed to work, so there's, you know, there's the upside there. Induce <laughs> rage, maybe, elf. Yeah. A Jimmy Fantastic bobblehead. Ooh, now you're talking. <laughs> yeah, with a thumbs up, that'd be amazing. <laughs> it would actually be pretty good, wouldn't it? And it says, yep, when you rock it backwards and forwards. <laughs> yeah, uh, one like the Churchill dog for the back, uh, back shelf oh, of the car yes. as well now. That would be lovely. Oh, yes. <laughs> Stay fantastic. <laughs> Have you seen, like, you've seen, like, the Danny Dyer Alexa? No, that sounds amazing. No, oh, that's not wonderful. I want one. I don't oh, want to see right. it. I want one. Like, yeah, like, there's an advert with it. It's uh, Danny Dyer Alexa. <laughs> oh, God. Like, Danny, what should we have for dinner? <laughs> and then I won't repeat what the answer is, but it's hilarious. <laughs> it's hilarious. That's lovely jubbly, isn't it? <laughs> oh, God, that sounds amazing. Really uh, Muppet, I think Jimmy Fantastic toenail clippers do sound awesome. Yeah, <laughs> I think that would be a hot seller. <laughs> oh, you bastards. O shaped candles. Oh, wow. <laughs> what about a whole foot with five wicks, one in each toe, and then you could just burn one a night until you do have a foot the same as Jimmy's? <laughs> Yep. <laughs> God damn it. I believe it's been 11 years since those slags smashing in the Twin Towers. <laughs> <laughs> that was well out of order, wasn't it? It was, I can't believe that. Drop a naughty! I remember when it happened though, because I was in Games Workshop, isn't that funny? been 21 years, yeah. No, 20, it was 2001, wasn't it? Yeah, so it's a long time ago. I was rehearsing for a play, and one of the great rules of rehearsal is the mobile phone must be off, no phone calls, and the director's phone went off in his pocket. He pulled it out, <laughs> his face fell, and he turned to us all and said, We must find a television. New York is in flame. Wow. <laughs> we just thought he's being so overdramatic and we did find a television and sure enough <laughs> oh wow Steve Motti that's, that's somewhat prescient isn't it and my partner's best friend uh, should have been working in one of the towers that day um, but at the last minute was called out to a client meeting 50 miles outside of New York. So for a couple of days we thought we had lost her. She didn't have an exotic name, did she, by any chance? No, she was Erica. Oh, okay. But from a family where they had four daughters called Erica, Elsa, Eva, and another thing beginning with it, Elvira, that's right. Elvira? Yeah, I know. That's horrible. She was horrible too. Well, with a name like that, you kind of like you don't really have much choice, do you? Yeah, give a dog a bad name. <laughs> Good 
<laughs> she was the youngest Muppet, yes. You did feel they were stretching a bit. Yeah, yeah. But why not Emma? You know. <laughs> Emma's a nice name. Oh, Emma Stone, it'd be gone on about, no doubt. Fault the Fourth was obsessed by Emma Stone. Is she, was she in Harry Potter? Uh, no, that's Emma Watson. I'm oh, glad right. you don't know who Emma Stone is either. I have no fucking clue. I didn't know. But then I had not watched. I think La La Land was her. The one that really brought her to the world, wasn't it? Sharon Stone's door or something. <laughs> That's what someone said. I don't know if they were taking the piss or not. <laughs> I don't think she can be, can she? Because she's English or British. I'm gonna vote. Sharon Stone's really not. Uh, but I've been wrong before. No, Emma Stone is an American actress. Oh, is uh, she? Okay. <clears throat> she's 32. Double D. Double <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, she's not. She's not the daughter of Sean. So. I really oh, struggle with Harry Potter films because of Emma Watson. <laughs> I mean, which one of the films is it? Okay, to start slightly fancying her. That's, <laughs> that's just always the question. <laughs> Certainly not the first three or four. <laughs> oh dear God. By the, by the seventh and eighth one, it's sort of okay. So, you know, where's the line? Where is it no longer just icky? <laughs> oh, good. Shans don't even have kids. The equity, uh, equity at the moment, it's... I think, I think we're in a good position for both. The rats aren't going to be unhappy that they've, they've got their score in. Um, they've lost Skitter, but nothing else that's massively going to worry them. I mean, it, they wouldn't have liked that the Fowler's gone out. Well, they lost the gutter just then. Yeah, but it's 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 the second worst of their four gutters, and they've still got three, two of which are all right, one of which is terrible. Um, but the high elves are going to be fine with the idea of scoring in three. Yeah. So really, it's it's all about the whiz. And as Dimmy says, does it come in to try and create the turnover and the two nil at half time, or? Does he try and somehow defend this and keep it dry for a second half sack? Or possibly even for overtime, which I, I already had, you know, I think my point is being proven. The rats are just not going to last that long, even without being hit with Mighty Blow. They, they will disappear over time. Yeah. It's all about the whiz, just like Fault Force and his urine. <laughs> <laughs> what? Whiz, you've heard whiz, haven't you, for a wee? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's it. Go for a whiz. Well, Fort, uh, Fort Force was on yesterday talking about fucking <laughs> talking about mature urines. I mean, you know, like Eskimos have like two thousand words for snow or whatever it is. <laughs> in, in, in like Essex, mate, it's about two thousand different words for pissing. <laughs> so, yeah, it could be, it could be many a different word. Oh, dear me. I was going to say something, I just didn't really want to be in that conversation, so <laughs> avoided. Yeah, I, I didn't want to mention it and, uh, before, right, I, so before I knew if it. With I the had... rats here, this is the choice, and we'll see what he does. If he's putting something up into the backfield, if he's uh, attacking this backfield with some gutters, then the high elves need to worry about the wizard. Um, if he just takes out one of the elves in his backfield and tries to hold a defensive line, then he's not planning a 2 0, he's planning to just try and defend. He's got to sneak oh. something through, I think. Uh, you know, I think he has speculatively. to. But the backwards blitz makes that tough, doesn't it? Yeah. I mean, I'll tell you what would really put off the high elves just leaving catches in the back like that. <laughs> it's a dirty player with a bribe. <laughs> yeah. Or even Skitter, if he'd been benched or vaguely looked after. Uh, mm -hmm. So you're not you're not you're not wrong, Dimmy. I didn't love that foul at the time. I, I think if the bribe had been there, yeah, then try and get those numbers down. But there were just so many better pieces to go for. Weren't there? I think it's just watching watching Ducky play. I, I'm obsessed with fouling now. I just think it's amazing. And uh, <laughs> I, I've been trying with uh, not as much success. <laughs> <laughs> To emulate it. We need to find a team with um, with some very cheap foul fodder. So yeah. you know, goblins or zombies or and even Nurgle's Rosses are perhaps not cheap enough. 
Uh, mm. Thralls are dirt cheap. Hobgoblins are dirt cheap. That reroll though, shoot, shoot blank. He started with a ball, didn't he? So he's gonna have to defend on turn eight. The turn seven is not as scary as turn eight because nope. that, that was a terrible reroll, wasn't it? And, yep. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I said he started with two fugit, and uh, you know, so it's proved. So bad rerolling that you can't reroll that. And Lamarse now has three to cover two turns, so he can even try some fun stuff this turn. Try pushing some go for it. Knowing that he'll definitely have a re-roll in, in the pocket ready for the uh, the turn 8 assault on that touchdown. Mm. And with no backfield pressure at all, yeah. there's zero chance the Wiz is getting used. This is not definitely not going to be a turnover touchdown. Yep. And Shublon's putting all of his eggs in the basket of stopping this somehow. Um, and yeah, if you know don't. how, do let me know, because <laughs> I don't see it. Other Hope than fails. <laughs> The classic strat of hope he rolls a one. Yeah. Yeah, it's basically just like, it's, it's basically giving away the fact that he's not whizzing and that, like, yeah. it just kills it, doesn't it? Like, it just. Like, if I. you're not whizzing, creating that doubt, isn't it, Dimmy? Yeah, exactly. Mm. Like, just like, even if you've got no intention of it, like, exactly, just bluff it, flag it. Yeah. Flag yeah. it. Do you have a block gutter still? It completely changes the mentality of this turn. Like he's, yeah. he can be risky if he wants, and it doesn't really matter. Yeah, yeah. He can do anything he wants up the field because the ball is a hundred percent safe. Any fail yeah. isn't a problem really. He's yeah, already got yeah, people in, in range. Um, there's already three elves now. But you know, you're not going to be able to knock them all over. Although I would like to see one of them get off. Um, I'd like to see one of them not, one more of them not based, because two not based means one definitely standing. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Like, I would have liked to see, an, yeah, another another elf in the back there. I guess. We. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I believe that was the whiz, not just whiz. <laughs> and whilst one can have a whiz, one can also have a waz, can't we? That's the same yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah. waz as well, yeah. Uh. Whee. <laughs> Perhaps is the waz that was. I mean, maybe that's just changed over time. Yeah. He does, oh, he gets sticky. The sticky, the sticky gutter keeps him there. Yeah. And now I think we have to dodge the other catcher. No, Don't we? Because it's just oh. possible. Oh, well, there we are. He's got off the. Uh, got break. away from the other rats. Armor break. <laughs> yeah. Oh, of course, it's an he armor break. He doesn't fall off. And yet he hasn't. He's stayed on the thrower. I, I mean, it's not easy for the gutter to knock this uh, catcher over. But if it manages it, we can we can take out all scoring threats here, can't yes. we? Yes, yes, it's possible. Uh, the sidestep on the uh, on the central one is is perhaps the biggest worry there. Yeah. Uh, but even then, he's got he's got blood step diving tackle on him, hasn't he? So he's like the, yeah. the, the you know. he's the least worrying of the lot. And why he didn't you know follow up off that is uh, is a bit of a mystery. Yeah, it's like the changing of the seasons and the tides of the sea, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Del Boy, calm down. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely uh, one of the members of TIT, aren't you, Jim? <laughs> I certainly am, yeah. <laughs> this time next year, you plan to be a sex robot millionaire? Is that <laughs> how that story ends? Uh, Moradam, it's from, a, it's, from a, it's from a UK TV show. Only Falls. Yeah. It's like the best TV show that Britain ever made, basically. Um, yeah, probably. Probably is, I reckon, yeah. You know that it uh, nearly didn't happen at all. The people that wrote it originally wrote a show you're way too young to remember. Probably both of you called Citizen Smith. No, I think and I've heard my dad mention it. Yeah, they wanted to turn Citizen Smith into the Del Boy character. Uh, but the actor Robert Lindsay that was playing him didn't think it was. Because Citizen Smith was like a, a tooting left winger who wanted to start the People's Republic of Tooting. And then they, they wanted to turn him into this sort of Del Boy character. And the actor playing it, Robert Lindsay, said, no, that's just not real. Um, so instead they stopped that series and made only Fools and Horses instead. 
Was it going to be someone other than Delboy as well, like David? Was it going to be, was it going to yeah, it was going to be the Wolfie Smith, Smith character from Citizen Smith. He was going to basically do exactly the same stuff. Wow. He who dares. He who dares, Rodney. He who dares. <laughs> <laughs> it was a great show. It was amazing, yeah. Yeah, it was. Ignore I'm not sure He's about this dead. turn. <laughs> I, it's not gone the way I'd seen it going. I mean, we've got... Uh, part of it was unlucky, wasn't it? Because we'd used all our re-rolls. We couldn't, uh, couldn't re-roll the hit on the catcher on the... Uh, on the left, as we're looking. Are we are we scoring on the linemen? Or are we... Yeah, I, I mean, it's, it's, it's cross-field, but it's... it's very seems doable, pretty easy, it? doesn't it? Very, very easy. And it seems the simplest bet. You can block with a... Rod, rod, wrestler first, kind of see what happens with that hit. Yeah, and then bits yeah. with uh, the other. Yeah. I don't know, because it looked like he set up to hand off. <clears throat> um, and I just thought it was weird that he blitzed him off diving tackle and then based him with diving tackle. Yeah, it was weird, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, me too. I, I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> but I mean, he's, he's neutralised the two catchers reasonably effectively, and it is all the way across the field to yeah, the right. Yeah, it's tackle know. zones, but he's just left the one on the right, like, <laughs> completely, like... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's, it's pretty much... Considering the lack of re-rolls in the position he was in, I don't... I think this defence is pretty decent. There's still work to be done. It is a go for it to clear the one off the lineman, and then it's quite a long way from the ball, so either you're looking at a handoff and then a pass, or a pass. Maybe hand off to the Adji and pass yeah, it with the Adji Yeah. 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 yeah, and it's two plus pass, so it's just a few twos. I mean, it's a quite a few twos, so it could fail. But it, 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 it has added those twos, which it looked like um, the High Elves might not have to deal with, so... Yeah. Like I said, given the resources, I don't hate it. And at least it's taken the catchers out of the game, which... But yeah, you do feel one more rat on the lineman would have really nailed this down. Um, and I Ooh. might even have dodged off those those pieces just in front of the line. The one that's on the is guard. he going to blitz him? Can he get all oh, the way around? Oh, oh. No, oh, I don't, don't mind. This guy's oh. in the tackle zone, isn't he? What? Why are we doing? Okay. Oh no, uh, he, can, he can go back here. Yeah. No, it's not. Oh no, he's just going to blitz him off. Oh. He's going to blitz him off, and I think take the hand off in the tackle zone and trust a catch. I guess it, <clears throat> it gets you to hit the guard, but yeah, yeah, but on a push, that was pretty bleak. I don't, I don't, it's not what I would have done. Um, but no, who can say if it's right or wrong? Yeah, well, it probably is right if I said I weren't going to do it, but... <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'm, yeah. I'm, afraid I'm with you, Dimmy. I, that wouldn't have been my plan. I mean, it, it's led to more hitting, because now this catcher can have a quick hit, but... Yeah, like but said, like, we've all... Really, really bad. We've all rolled block dice on turn eight, haven't we? Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, well, we know how that can end had a push or a fail, either of which would have been just terrible. Whereas a push on the free in the lineman was fine, wasn't it? Yeah. I, I guess he doesn't want to score on the lineman. And even, like... even the one in nine on free in the lineman, because it's a wrestle piece, just take the both down. Yeah. Still, it all comes good. <laughs> Pool and B after this game, if it ever fucking ends. <laughs> yeah, I, I, don't, I don't think he will at this stage. <laughs> It's been fucking slow, hasn't it? An hour of this shit. I mean, an hour of a great, gripping battle. Uh, I'm really enjoying it, guys. I'm super hyped. Woo! <laughs> Flip me. <laughs> a fucking hour! <laughs> Hurry up! Flicky, with the, uh, the Flicky followers. End the turn, Big for up. fuck's sake! End I've, the fucking oh, turn, do. man! How did your stream go, Flicky? <laughs> he, he was playing Woody's, wasn't he? He was playing in the SFU. I oh. saw it at the start. Um, he was having some some fairly tough dice, but looked like he was recovering from it well. <laughs> Fair me. Um, it's certainly not up there with the glorious Camry Mirror match, the greatest his the greatest moment oh, well in Jimmy Fantastic Good. history. Glad for you, mate. That was a decent match, wasn't it? The Kenry one. It was better than the uh, Sergal um, Lumi one. That was pretty dire. 
I have literally no idea what happened in the Camry match, <laughs> but it was a brilliant game. <laughs> well, there was a piling on Tomb Guardian, so that's all that all that matters, really, isn't it? Was it? The, it was the most fun you've had casting Blood Bowl for a long time, wasn't it, Jim? It was, yeah, yeah. There was a hundred and ten thousand bits for me, Demi. That's all <laughs> oh, right, yeah, yeah. Right. So that's okay. a small, a small give me about dollars, <laughs> so he uh, cheered up notably. Yeah, unbelievable. I'd say Pepper Biscuit was as good as his word, Jim. Turned up in my stream and dropped me 150 as well. So Glorious. lovely, Jim. Wow. Glorious. What a, what a lovely fellow. Indeed. I'd switch view, but I shouldn't have done this. No, we're still behind the high ends. Yeah, I just I switched. I did switch. Yeah. Um... Glorious. Thank you very much, Elliot, for the massive raid. And thank you, Flicky, for the for the raid as well. <laughs> I just realised that I hadn't thanked Flicky, but thank you, Flicky, and thank you very much, Elliot. Glorious. I, I did it for you, Jim. Yeah, I know, I know. I still should have done as well, shouldn't I? Like, that's why I didn't, because obviously I asked him how he did, and he said he won everything, so I didn't ask, but I guess I should have said at least thanks. I don't know. But... Thank you very much. Absolutely glorious. And, uh, yeah, you, halfway through this game, it's going to last another fucking hour and 70 minutes or something. An hour and 70 minutes. It's going to last. It's be. It's taken an. It's taken us an hour to fucking have the first half. We're probably going to be another fucking hour. I mean, if you've ever had a meal in France, they do like to take their time sometimes, Jim. They like to enjoy it. They do. Yeah. Well, that was the Italians, wasn't it? I think it's just the racist stereotype of all Europeans, Demi. I was being yeah. joking. They're all the same. Yeah, it's, it's because they've got it right, though, PC, isn't it? I mean, in, in Britain, we all work way too hard for not enough yeah. money. And, and it... then shovel our food down in 20 minutes. So yeah, because that's microwavable meals, because that's all we've got time for. <laughs> like in Spain, they go home at 2 o'clock in the afternoon and <laughs> have a jolly up. <laughs> They're probably going on strike in the middle of this match, aren't they? <laughs> they, do, they do then go back to work, Dimmy, after their... Um, their yeah, siesta. I know, but who's going to buy stuff at, like, 2 o'clock in the morning? Do you know what I mean? Like, you just sit there and play Blood Bowl on your laptop, don't you? <laughs> and we could be back for turn 14, yeah. Um, I mean, I think... I just want to point out uh, that I think one of my predictions is starting to come true. The rat's not managing to stay the course. We are down to nine on field already at kickoff. Nine. Ah, not even a vanity pass. Wow. They just don't have the spare rerolls for it, Demi. This is starting to feel like Rebel. Jesus Christ. <laughs> three each. <laughs> You know, not a lot. I mean, that's yeah. That's the like. It's the. This is the annoying bit. Views expressed isn't it? in Trying this stream are not supported by the rebel turns. admin. You only want to play two <laughs> turns of Blood Bowl, don't you? Like... Yes, except I mean, as I said, I think here they're in the position where they've got the better armor, they've got the better numbers, they've got the better players. I, I don't think you need to be um, defending necessarily at the back. Yeah. But it's obviously it's the safest way. See you, Fumio. Sorry, this took so long. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I can say. Perhaps you. Um, about this thrilling match. <laughs> perhaps you can you can leave this match to your children in your will, and they can find out who won. <laughs> Be serious, PC. Grandkids. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that was. You were always following up that way. Brilliant. <laughs> <coughs> and to my youngest grandchild, I leave the house, my signet ring, and the result of the Le Marseille and Choublanc game, which I'd like you to carve on my gravestone in 30 or 40 years' time when it happens. <laughs> Just have an end the fucking turn, man. <laughs> It is a bit sad when you're hoping for removals just because it shortens the length of the game. <laughs> <laughs> more, than, more than anything else. Oh, dear me. 
<laughs> I really hope the Skaven don't score this one turner. <laughs> 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 I really, really hope. Oh, dear me. <clears throat> That's just a bit of a joke, isn't it? You know, but uh, the thing is, like, it's just, it's just obviously not that interesting to watch somebody think, is it? That's the thing. It's obviously like it's fair enough because there's no time in it and all that kind of stuff. But, uh, I mean, it's like there's, there's going to be four turns of nothing because the Skaven don't have enough players to push pressure nope. on the ball, and then they don't, they, they're sitting waiting for the wizards. The high elves aren't going to push forward because they don't want to be in range of the other players, so the wizard is relevant. So, yeah. These whole four turns that we we're about to witness are completely pointless, and they're kind of just going to jostle position to try and. I mean, you're absolutely spot on, Dimmy. Again, really good analysis, and hence the rats have to change that. They cannot let this status quo continue because it ends up with them losing. Yeah. Wizard is currently of no use to them because anything they whiz just isn't going to change the game. Um, as you've said, they're you know they're short of pieces already, and. Uh, you know, with their armor, I know they've got a couple of nice hitters, but they're not going to be given that many hits a turn, and the High Elves have got one decent hitter themselves. Uh, and the Skaven armor is weaker. So without any claw on the Skaven team, I would still expect the Skaven to lose more than the High Elf do if it just becomes a, you know, who can chip a piece it battle. Splits, uh... So I think they've got to find a way to at least get a gutter into the backfield where the Wiz becomes relevant, at least as a, you know, I'm worried in case he lightnings me and that gutter just picks it up and scores. Mm, so um, you've got to find a way to spare one. So you try to change the status quo by going down, down, deeper and down. I would. Oh dear. <laughs> I only know that reference because my mum was a massive status quo fan. But <laughs> that is horrific, Jim. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I I actually met. Uh, is his name Nick or Rick Parfit? Rick I think Parfit. Was, yeah, I met him in. I queued up outside a church for like four hours, like not as long as this game, but <laughs> for, <laughs> for about four hours, just to get his signature. I didn't even know who he was, just to get his signature from my mum, <clears throat> and I mean, then she was really happy. Just to continue the theme, I do think right now the rats are in dire straits, and uh, <laughs> you know, rats can be the sultans of swing, but only if they're prepared to really go for it. Mm, yes. <laughs> Has he only got two cutters left? Whatever you want. <laughs> <laughs> of course, the the high elves are prepared for this. They've uh, they've got loads of plans. They've drawn up before the match pictures of matchstick men. <laughs> Dr. Mama Bosco, status quo is a English um, soft rock band yeah. uh, from the cheesy. 70s. A, a little bit cheesy nowadays, definitely. But in the 70s, they weren't seen as cheesy. That just was music. Yeah, my mum loved them. I loved them as well when I was a kid. Well, here we are and here we go. Let's see what the rats come up with to deal with this. Yeah. Another little status quo reference snuck in there for the aficionados. <laughs> Your mum would have got it, Dimmy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love language sometimes. <laughs> I like that a bit too much. <laughs> I'm done. Oh dear me. I'm not, not made of wood, you know. <laughs> we are and here we are and here we go. <laughs> right, so the rats, for some reason, think that if they just uh, attack the high elves and keep them penned in, that that's going to work. But they have put a runner in the backfield, like I said. I got it. Yeah. So that does bring the Wiz a little bit into play now. The High Elves are going to have to think a tiny bit harder. The problem is they've only got fucking two gutters left, haven't they? So this is the, yeah. this is the problem. It's hard to pressure with a gutter when you've got your one-turner and one yeah, other absolutely. gutter. And you basically twat that gutter and if you arm break him, you just stay where you are. And if you don't, then you worry about it after that. Yep, that. 100% that, Dimmy. Now, the one caveat of that is, of course, his best twatter is uh, is based, <laughs> but it's only a two plus to get off. <laughs> his best twatter. Do you know that twatter was what they uh, had in what they had in GTA Five instead of Twitter? They had twatter. <laughs> it's pretty <laughs> good. 
Oh, I thought it was like a porno, um, like social media thing. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. I no idea what you're talking about, Demi. Strange. World. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh, Did uh, somebody order some tumbleweed? <laughs> <laughs> oh god! So of course the high elves, as, as Dimmy said so ably, this is this is fine for them. They do have to worry a tiny bit about the gust, but only a tiny bit. Yeah. He's edging closer though. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the rats are, you know, working to the point where that gutter and the wizard do become relevant. And it is a sidestep piece, so if hitting it doesn't work, which is, even with tackle, only about a 50%. I've got a scoring threat. Yeah, I don't love the fact that we haven't dealt with that gutter yet. I think it's the only urgent problem, and for some reason we're ignoring it. Mm. Uh, is that, that, that's an unskilled lineman as well, isn't it? Yeah. And is that's in range of the thrower, right? It's in range of just about every round the pitch. Right? <laughs> <laughs> it's also what uh, I believe we're contractually obliged to call a bolt bitch, isn't it? It is indeed a bolt bitch. Oh, of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, like, it kind of defeats the object if you can just blitz him with block. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, again, great insight. I'm, I'm with you. That's it's an odd place for him to have run to and again particularly before we've dealt with this gutter and he's gonna rely on the dodge and then putting him in range of other pieces that can then throw it over to this gutter um, uh, I, just, I don't love it but perhaps he is trying to tempt the whiz i mean it's i just think hitting the gutter was wow safest way to do it i mean i know you can play san andreas on mobile uh, yeah. I know a friend that's been that into that. That was a great game, that was. It really was. Oh my god, he hasn't, he hasn't hit the gutter. He hasn't hit the gutter! <laughs> he might after this game. <laughs> oh, he might hit the source if this goes horribly wrong. He's in such a strong position. I, I'm not loving how this turn's looking right now. No, I, I hate this. I, I absolutely hate this. And he can't even... Okay, he's going to go there. Okay, he's screaming that ball. Don't you just bolt and win? It was, oh, the far, it was the last thing he did, uh, was to put some sort of safety around it. If it's me, Jim, I bolt. probably the first thing I do is get my sidestep gutter into the end, is bolt, bolt. <laughs> put the sidestep gutter <laughs> in the end tone, and then come with the other gutter for the ball. It, it yeah. doesn't look that difficult, does it? Yeah, you can, blitz him, you can blitz him off. Easy. Yeah, you can block the one off that's marking the gutter, then you can blitz a hole through to where the ball should then be after the lightning bolt, and then yeah. you score. Yeah, this is like the easiest touchdown of his life. No, the first thing you do, PC, is think about it for two and a half minutes, and then you bolt. <laughs> and, Jimmy, and then you, know, you dodge the gutter in. People wonder why we do silly jokes and say rude things. I mean, it, it is our job to, to fill, feeling. isn't it, whilst they <laughs> take the... No, no whiz. No whiz. Wow. He, might, he might be going for the uphill. Yeah, no, but the whiz, the whiz that was he? is not there. I, he had to whiz, didn't he? Had to, didn't he? That was the that was the best win condition I thought he was going to get right now. Yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah, it doesn't. I don't think he's going for the ball. Then he can't be going. For no, the he ball. can't be. There just there isn't enough. There's. But then the problem. His gut runner is now going to get tired because... Yeah, he might, that's the thing. He's on the clock, right? He's, with, he's down to yeah. two gutters. He started with five, he's down to two. They're not going to live forever, are they? You know? No, they're really not. Particularly not with a you know mighty blow tackle right on it. Doesn't even need to blitz right now. Yeah, Any fail now, and that one's... 50% toast. He's going in for the... Okay, he is trying the rowdy one die. Well done, buddy. Oh... Great choice. <laughs> well, <laughs> and as that's a two heads thrower, it was always likely to get there. But then, what if he could just have picked the ball up and thrown it for a touchdown? Wasn't that better? Yeah. Or the gutter could have come in and picked the ball up and thrown it for a touchdown. Yeah. And it, it strikes me that's usually how you win games. Wow, Dr. Mombusco. <laughs> and then, yeah, I don't know, like. 
the thing is, is I think he might still force. Oh no, you can you can probably hold the ball in the back of the Skaven half now, can't you? No. Oh, okay. Well, that's why he's running that. Uh, yeah, got to run out of <laughs> everywhere. Because <laughs> he's now concerned about yes, about reversing the field, as I always you call can it. Which say is, yeah, whether it was right or wrong. The vast majority of your team isn't behind what I would do. Team between them and their touchdown line. And you're sort of defending the other way, if you see what I mean. Oh, and he gets KO. Thank <sighs> you very much, Moradan. Yeah, it's a, it's a good point. Who can say it was right or wrong, but I think it was fucking terrible. I mean, well, it's risky now to, like, to hold the ball in a cage on the left, though. I yeah, guess. No, the ball has to come forwards now, I think. He could serve then, this uh, throw, though, potentially, couldn't he? We thought it was risky last turn, Dimmy, and it turned out <laughs> that... Um, but Shu Blanc didn't agree with us. He thought it was oh. safe enough that he didn't have to go for it. I will probably still blitz the uh, diving tackle gutter runner first before just to see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you got to, no, you got to hit the thrower now, right? You just hit the thrower and that's the scoring threat, and then you're fine. You could surf the thrower. Would you go all in for that surf? I mean, that's. I wouldn't go all in, but I'd think about going for it. It's, an, it's not bad, and you can also like protect the ball as well as you do it. Like you can bring this guy around there, so he's like, he's you know. Oh, yeah. what? you mean bring the sidestepping catcher back to, so he's on the sideline? Because otherwise yeah. you need someone. Yeah, yeah, yeah he yeah, comes. Yeah. He comes back to the sideline. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah. The wrestler comes in here, so you hit there, push him to here, push him back, then, and use the sidestepper. And yes. then yeah, and then push, and then he comes in. So he's, he's and the final he's push is with the ball carrier, and he's naked. Um, so there's yeah. a mild risk there. And so as Jim says, you need to, you need to protect him from the surf back, but that's not that difficult to do. Yeah, exactly. Because there doesn't look to be a piece now that can come over and. Surf well, he doesn't. Him. He doesn't even need to go there because you can just follow with the rackle. No, I, I like I like putting him there. I like putting him here. Because then it protects the ball as well, I guess. Yeah, Where's he the going? Ball like a Where's he going? Oh, this guy could hang on. He's, a, he's run away, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> he's run away. He's done one. <laughs> now, this guy could up and surf you, right? That's Did the his problem. morale fail? Is that break? <laughs> oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Now I understand why you're putting him there. Because now yeah. he can't be up Okay. Yeah. yeah, look at this. Yeah, one, yeah. two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, surf. This is pretty horrific. Yeah. Isn't it? Guess, this is uh, not right. No. Well, but he's, no, 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 he can still he can still dodge out one of the guys. He can bring the another elf back, but the square yeah, Jimmy hasn't. pointed out is exactly where I would definitely a hundred percent want an elf right now. Because yeah. also, if this fails, if this one in nines or one in worse one in eighty ones, which I did on my first block last night, then you're completely screwed. Whereas if there was an elf, elf stood next to him, at least you're not completely screwed. Yeah. So yes, I didn't. I mean, the outcome's positive, but I hated the way he did it. Yeah. And now... And it, it's still not safe. <laughs> and yeah, there's a four-man fireball. Does he go for the four-man fireball? The chat's calling for it. Thirsty oh. for the four-man fireball. If uh, only he had something around there to fetch. I don't know mm. about the fireball. Well, he's not using this catcher in any, in any kind of defensive position or this lineman yet. He could have put a screen out, right? I would quite like to bring yeah. this guy back. I don't think he's screen. seen it. He's rolled away. Oh. Uh. Oh, man, uh. Fireball is tempting, isn't it? Because 50 50, you, you put down the ball, could go in the crowd as well. And yep. all of these guys it makes the surf easier. Yeah. Well, I yeah. mean, it, it, but I mean, the, yes, any one of them down. Uh, but particularly the uh, the rackle piece that's furthest to the right of those three, if that goes down, then the surf's a piece of cake. I mean, it's two red dice when you get there. Yes, the fireball comes in. It's, uh. It's a lot of fails, though. It is. He got the two that he didn't want, really. He missed the uh, two yeah. that he wanted. It's not a PC fireball. That's no. It's not. It's not a bolt from the gods. No, he really wanted one of these two. If he gets the outside one, it's a lot better, isn't it? Yeah. Really and also, it, it, it doesn't even make the surf a lot easier, unfortunately. No, he, he I still think it's got to be tried. I think the surf here is the you, natural I move. Don't, I, I... I don't know if I like that fireball. No, I didn't like it either, but the chat did. Oh, oh the 1 in 36 into removal. <laughs> what, wow. what a turn wizard and best gutter removed from the game. <laughs> and you just stood there. You just like left on like this play. Yeah, and no one else even stood up. Brilliant. Well, GG. Yeah. G fucking G. I'm off to make a T. <laughs>
I mean, yes, you need to leave some pieces responsive for... I mean, I, I think that piece wasn't blitzing. It was coming in to provide the assist, and then another piece was coming in to blitz, but... Well, it's like you say, oh. the, the last... Fo the, the bolt that he ignored, he had a scoring threat, and then he fireballs yeah. when he has no scoring threat, and it's... Yeah. Like, I think Wizards are probably the most misplayed things you see in uh, Chalice, most of... Like, generally speaking, not obviously the better coaches and stuff but like, yeah, I, think, I, 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 I think both these guys are pretty good like don't get me wrong I'm not bashing on them but I, I don't think that wizard was particularly good I mean I haven't played Le Marseille uh, I don't think I have to be fair I Maybe. played shoot off and the game I mean you saw it Demi it swung I saw the dwarves a, versus the big, right? big whiz but he um, he certainly I felt was a little overconfident at times in that game, and I snuck a draw in a game I thought he should have won quite easily. Yeah, he's got yeah, hand off to the box. Right? Yeah, and that's it. See you later, ball. I think he's now all out of options. He is, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I just I I kind of hate fireballs in general. Really, I don't know. Unless it's against like massive bash teams, like yeah, there, there's a time and a place for them. I mean, the time I used it against uh, Seabrook, he disagrees. I'd have to have another look at the turn, but I, I felt looking at it that even if the fireball took none of the four targets down, I could still get hit, um, which I thought made it a stronger option than the bolt. Yeah, I mean. <clears throat> But it's notable that when they've redone the wizard, they've left the fireball alone and they've removed the lightning bolt. Yeah, the lightning bolt, like especially against like, Agi, like obviously I know there's no Agi five on the Skaven team, but a lightning bolt and Agi five, and you're gonna win most of the games you play if you play like correctly through the rest of the game. Yeah, I don't disagree with that, Dimmy. I can't tell you how much fun turning someone into a frog is, though, and then instantly just stepping on them. Yeah, that sounds like a laugh. And Particularly it kinda... the evil little gutter, because strength two, it's like a lightning bolt. It works does, on a two plus. Does it get like a proper injury? Does it roll on the injury table? Or is it just always a badly hurt? Always a badly hurt. Ah, uh, so then I was gonna say because otherwise you could just destroy people's teams just by. <laughs> no, but it's it's an automatic badly hurt as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they're out for the game. Yeah. Yeah. You have to get them in that drive as well. So yes, you do. Or there, else there is... they, they turn back. Yeah. So my favourite way of using it is about half a second before I hit that piece. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Turn it into a frog and instantly blitz it. Even any strength three player gets three die on it. That's the weird thing, though. Like, I don't think I'm ever going to play tabletop where there'll be a wizard in play because, like, naff and stuff is always going to be, like, TV matches like tier systems isn't it probably no, true I... but in blood bowl 3 we should see it all oh, right yeah 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 i've kind of forgotten about blood bowl 3 because it's gonna be out early uh early 2021 and uh now what they what have they said now have they even said anything they just said the last we heard was midsummer 21 yeah so um. christmas boys put it on your christmas list i i'd rather it came good and ready than yeah early, and early late, rubbish. Yeah. I can wait if that's what it takes. Like my my major concern is like it just having twelve teams. Like I don't think the yeah. game is going to be very fun with just no. twelve teams. Like, but obviously you're going to want to play it because you. Yeah. You know, because get a couple behind. of the new taxi teams are there. You know, Black Hawks are going to be there, and Imperial Nobility are going to be there, and people will want to play them. So. Yeah. Ha ha ha! Flambe de pump. But I suspect there might be six months where we're you know a lot of us doing both. Yeah, I I think I'm going to play my eternal leagues like. And then when you add fumble time, that's a lot of Blood Bowl I'm going to have to worry about where my focus is. Are we talking about Blood Bowl 3? 2024? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, weirdly this game hasn't quite grabbed our attention fully, Jimmy, at this stage. It's kind of over at this stage, in my opinion. Like, I mean, it should be, but actually the sort of a game has broken out a little bit again, hasn't it? Um, the Rats have got some sort of defence up in front of the High Elves, who are now looking a little bit thinner than they were. It's Blood Bowl 3 oh, due to come out when this match ends. <laughs> 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 Alright, so here we, here's the turn that we're going to see the Marcelo finally play Blood Bowl, turn 15. Yep. 
and there's a wrestle. It, it's he's only holding with a wrestler, isn't he? So he can, you know, it's guaranteed down. Even if you want to nines it, and then he can bust through, get a cage. Simple. It's 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 yeah, exactly yeah. My, yeah, but I whenever know. it's this simple, it always goes wrong. <laughs> I mean, this gonna... is this is super simple. Like it's just literally any anything works, doesn't it? I don't know. Well, he just put someone in the square. All right. Is, uh, okay, not if he does it like not, this. Maybe not that. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else worked. It's still credit the hole he needed, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, yeah just, sometimes all you need, sometimes all you need is a hole. Doesn't matter what sort of hole it is. It's yeah. closer to the uh, diving tackle. <laughs> <laughs> and he's based. All oh, right, now he is. It's going to be a based cage if that's a corner of a cage. Yeah, I, I think he's just going to have to screen it, isn't he? He's going to have to run through and screen it. But um, Which it, against a gutter isn't brilliant, but it's only a diving tackle gutter. It hasn't got rackle, it hasn't got wrestle, it hasn't got... It's only got diving tackle, it's got no real ability to take the ball. It's a yeah. player rather than an aggressive taker, isn't it? But it could have been. This This the whole no, turn. No, it is the based cage, Jim. <laughs> yeah. uh... Called it. Yeah. So hence he's putting a lot of extras around that corner that's based. Yeah. Uh, and of course there's guard there sort of helping it out. But the guard can be removed. Yeah. Um, guard could lead to a chain, couldn't he? Yeah. A Dick Cheney. Yeah, there are some ways to attack this for sure. But again, it's, it, he's really lacking the piece to get in there and do much once he attacks it. He's lacking. Well, there's a general, isn't he? He's only got six left. Yes, exactly, yes. But, ultimately, the six plus with a re-roll, I think, if nothing else, that's a one in three chance of a one die on the ball with tackle, with mighty blow. If you cancel the assists, you can leave the gutter dry to try and pick up afterwards. You know, it's, there, there are some options here which I don't think needed to be. No, true. I don't know. I think. Hmm. What's the What's the best thing here? Maybe that is the best way. Uh, I don't know. It's pretty crap, though, isn't it? It's pretty crap. Maybe. I mean, maybe it, do it, the it's over. I'm just trying to find ways to, you know, kick it back into life. Maybe dodge and chain, you know, you can you can dodge this guy away, up to there, dodge this guy to here, so like two, three pluses, then he dodges the gutter, two Ds, gets the 1D on the ball, oh no, he needs another dodge away to make it a 1D on the ball, and he needs to power the bludger. Um, no, that, that, will, that will, oh no, it yeah, won't be, Yeah, because the bludger's no. guard, so if he doesn't yeah. power it, that's not ideal, isn't it? Yeah. I still think that one in three of a one dies slightly tempting me or just, just waste two of your rats hitting an irrelevant elf <laughs> <laughs> I mean you've got four more that's going to be enough isn't it yeah. and Lamar Slay's only what he only got one MNG did he can't remember Oh no, that was a badly hurt, wasn't it? So he's taken yeah. like. Yeah, no, it's a miss next. It's a miss next. A certain uh, I feel Le Marseille has coached much better uh, than Shublong this game. Yeah. But I, I mean, don't he's really had a know either well, well enough though. to say, yeah, and a better team. I don't know either well enough to say if that's inevitable or not. Uh, and unlike Dionysian, I try and use that word actually correctly. Wow, yeah. Hating on him. <coughs> Could love someone and be mindful of their faults. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well. Uh. And that surely is all she wrote. Oh, quad skulls. Uh, yes, I did forget that the ball is based in mean, he got a very good point. Uh, has Maybe he got the. Skulls. Oh, because it's strength for Earth, too. <gasps> hey, just power it. Hey. Hey. And there it's is the chance problem. for the rat one turn. Yeah, there is a chance for rat one Yeah, there is. Yeah. He's got, a, he's got a sidestep gutter still. And a thrower oh, that's very, very, um, very Don't good say at that, Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> Don't torture us with another half of this shit. <laughs> uh -huh. I think the high elves have done fine, pretty much. Have, I yeah, didn't yeah. like the move up the flank on the side. 
I thought that that was a bit weak that position. Yeah. And I thought Jimmy was right that that ball could have been better defended against. It would have put another one in the fireball, but I think that's the difference between like K like playing um Blanc and playing like KFO or Dio or like yourselves. It's like if you if you do that against one of those guys, they're absolutely going to go for that bolt <clears throat> and sack, like rather than going with the one D. I mean, that, to be fair, like if that one D rolls a pow, then like, yeah. it could look very different, couldn't it? But it, it was still a reasonable assault, Demi, um, and I don't think Lamarce needed to offer it to. Him. Yeah. But, yeah. But it's all worked out fine, and I, I do think the better coach has won on the day. I mean, I say one. There is this one turn attempt, and he has kept a reroll back for it. How many side steppers has he got? He's got only one. Only, only, only one. one. And oh, it's a catcher. Yeah. He may not even want to put that up on the line. I think you've got to in Chalice, haven't you? I know Jimmy I... told me off for putting Stanford on the line in a Rebel game, but <laughs> I think it's <laughs> different with uh, Chalice, right? Well, it, 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 if you've only got one, it's probably not worth doing. What, pointless? Right, okay. yeah, maybe. I mean, if you do this kind of standard anti-one-turn defence, then it is better to have a sidestepper there, because he's the obvious weakling to go for. Like you know, if you Yeah, the two are ordinary, doing... then the gap, and then the sidestepper, yeah. and then the pattern behind. Yeah, so it's it's kind of okay to do this, but... Um... This is where uh, Chublon gets a riot, but he it? He can't do the standard defence, because he is one elf short. He's only got ten. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, yeah, ten. Yes. ten. So that does make it a little more, and hence he's going for the in-your-face defence, it looks like. Yeah. And he's just going um, full push denial, isn't he? Yeah, front lining instead of back lining. Um, yeah. Yes, push denial, absolutely. But against the sidestepper, this well, you know, K-Fog style, instant push him there, sidestep, block him, sidestep. See you later, mate. Yes, I don't hate that here. <laughs> You know, if he's if he is clogging up the uh, the two shitters on the line using them, then just use one of the ones that's two steps back. And you're instantly clear of all elves and in range. Yeah. And it, it doesn't even need a push. You can do it with a pal. Yeah. Well. I mean, there is every possibility that he just one turns here, wins the toss, and then one turns again. <laughs> just wins the game. Strange things have happened, but he's not doing that. I see. That's exactly what I'd be doing, Jim. I'd be going down the uh, the. Uh, I'm trying to look at how you're looking at it, and I'm looking at it. So down the right hand side, uh, where yeah. there just isn't any cover, and you can use those, the uh, mm. the naked elf on the far right as the rats look at it. Yeah. Like I said, if you get a blitz on him, put two rats in front of him. Yeah, and then he's then you're using his catcher as the uh, as yeah. the third fill. Yeah, Push. and three rats behind, including the one turner in the middle. Yeah, and then even a pow, you've got your push on your sidestepper. You're in range, and there's no rats between the no L's between you and the touchdown. You do need two pushes though, so you would need to. Uh... Do you need two? I thought it was one. Oh no, yes, he's, he's it's the the move ten's gone, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, he, uh... gone, gone. Okay, it is two. Yeah, so you do need. So you need to push on the first one, then the, but then you could power on the second hit. Yeah, then you can power on the second hit. Yeah. I think he's got just about enough rats to do it. One, two, three, four, five. Six, but instead, seven. he's going for not doing that. Yeah, I think he has got enough rats. Yeah, I think he did, yeah. I think that was doable. I mean, it would have probably taken a, a one dodging off one of the elves that you had three on the LOS, but I felt that was the way. This, I think, is much trickier, because even if you get the push, you're still then dodging through all of those elves. And how would you get the ball to it? Yeah. Oh, you get a touch back and a quick snap, then, yeah. <laughs> trying to work out how to use the whole method. I, well, I have to see. I don't at the moment. I don't see how this works, but it, no. it probably does. He's got a red dice, isn't he? I'm no red. I'm no rat mm. expert. So yeah, red dice, and then push to there, and then push to there. Hey! Hey! 
Yeah, it would have worked. He, he would have pushed him to there, then he would have sidestepped one and then pushed one as well. But yeah, he would have been throwing it into like five L's, wouldn't he? Yeah, it was yeah. terrible. But that it is the worry. It would have worked if he'd rolled good dice, it would have worked. But he didn't roll good dice, it didn't no. work, and the master no. layer won. Ah, oh, he's got a leveled up anti bus lineman. He does, yeah. he does. Yeah. So that's useful. Yeah. I think that got bust this game, didn't it? So it's no, no, it was already. Oh, was that yeah. on? Oh, okay. Yeah. He, the only thing he got was an MNG this game, and that was on a rookie. So right. he's looking pretty good for his next opponent. Well, I mean, I thought he coached. I thought he deserved the win. I thought he coached the better. Um, yeah. Except that one turn we didn't 100% love, but I mean, it, it, you know, he did have to move forward, and the wizard was always going to be a threat in some ways. I get why he didn't want to put too many people under a fireball, and it came anyway. Yeah. I mean, I think, it wasn't I think a thriller, it was, was it? Not a thriller. No, no, it just took too long. Like, it's it, it, it's fair that they take the time and everything. I'm not having a go at them, obviously, but it's just it is it's hard for you to watch, isn't it? When they're just thinking for two minutes every turn, you'd rather they didn't. <laughs> like, it's just it's just a selfish a selfish thing. But anyway, um, yeah, congrats, congrats to Lamar Salé, commiseration, Chublon, and uh, thank you very much, Dimmy fucking G and oui. Purple Chest. <laughs> we <Oui. laughs> uh, pleasure. Thank, Thanks for watching everyone, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.